Hi, thank you for watching us here at Tax Talk UK. We're going to talk about your business address when you're working from home. Before we do, if I could please ask you to take a moment to subscribe to our YouTube channel. That way you'll easily be able to refer back to this information if you need to, as well as find information on a whole wide range of topics and, and taxes that we have available in other vid videos. If you want to know as soon as we upload new information, then you should also turn on the notifications. So on to business address for your home business. So depending on what your um, business actually is doing, it may not be um, necessary for you to um, have a, um, a, a renter unit or an office, and you may simply um, be able to um, fulfill all your business activities um, from home. So if you are doing this, you should think about what the activities are and any risk involved, and always be sure to let your um, insurance company know if you are undertaking any business activities from home, um, because otherwise, um, of course, in the event of needing to make a claim, then it could be invalid if you haven't notified um, your, um, your insurance, your insurers, sorry, that, that you're carrying out business from home. Um, these days, it doesn't. It's not massively um, expensive um, to 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 be able to um, carry out some business um, from home. Um, it's far more common these days, and it will depend on what you're actually doing at home and whether you're having business visitors. So, if you're simply, um, for example, if your business means that you go out and about in a van um, through the day, and that's how you serve your customers. Um, then, then um, you obviously wouldn't necessarily be having business visitors at home and you might just be carrying admin work um, at home. If, for example, you have a whole um, section of your house um, kitted out as a, as a stock room, then obviously um, that's, that's more, re more relevant. Um, but in any case, um, you don't want to invalidate your insurance. So whatever you are doing, you want to let, let them know that you're doing that. So when you're asked for your business address or your trading address, you're simply going to give your home address if you haven't got um, a, a unit or a, an office that you rent. And there's no issue with doing that. Um, depending on your trading style, if you are a sole trader um, and you are operating from home, then your business and your trading address will simply be your, um, your home address. And that's no problem. If you're a limited company, then you will need to have a registered address that, again, can be your home address. Um, perhaps for um, privacy and depending on what industry you're working on, you may not want it in the public um, domain if you anticipate your business may grow into a larger company, for example. Um, and, and this is fine. There's plenty of um, service companies that will provide you with a, um, a registered address if you wanted to. And in that case, in the case of a limited company with a registered address, um, you would also need to provide HMRC with your trading address. Now, that wouldn't um, be in the public domain, so that should always be the address where your trade actually is carrying on. So if you're um, working from home, um, or that's predominantly your base, then um, that's the address that you will need to give. So um, hopefully this is um, helpful and this answers the question, um, what is my business address? And um, good luck with your business. As I mentioned earlier, please do take a moment to um, subscribe to our YouTube channel and um, we hope to see you again soon. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.